Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Opening day 2022 on MLB The Show. It's the Columbus Clippers taking on the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Ready to go? Today's starting pitcher, Zach Eflin. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. So just about set. Here's Brian Rocchio. And the pitch. So now one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Left-hand batter waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Popped up left side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Okay, let's check out the lineup. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. The wide to kick the pitch. That one the other way. Puts it away for the out. That is her. The first baseman, number 22. Josh. And now Naylor. it's Josh Naylor. The 1 1. That's a that ball. misses the zone. And a count two and one. I got two on the count. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. The wind of the pitch. Left field. Veerlin makes the catch, and that'll do it. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. We go to the bottom of the first. And on the hill today, Alex Young. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that... I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, John Andrioli. Next pitch, way upstairs. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now Adam Hazley. 
On the ground a second, might be two. Good feed, that's one. Plenty of time at first, that's a double play. That is four. A third baseman. Two outs, space is empty. Alec Bohm getting ready to hit. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that ends the inning. We move on to inning number two here in Philadelphia. No score. Back here in Philadelphia, here's a big power threat. Bobby Bradley. And Chris, probably no other player better represents present-day baseball than this guy. A lot of power, a lot of strikeouts, and some walks. Bradley waits. Back outside. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. Righty to the plate. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. That one felt good. His first homer of the year. And they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's the third baseman, David Fry. The wind of the pitch. And a count one and two. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the first out. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Here's the center fielder, George Valera. And he lays down a bunt. And he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. And the right-hander deals. And that's a base hit. That is set. The second baseman. Ernie. Runner on at first with one gone. And now it's going to be Ernie Clement. Steel, runner. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Here's the ball to second, but way too late. Safe there. Next one is off the play. And the count's full. And a payoff pitch. Popped up. And that'll get down for a hit. Runner around third. He'll score. And they lead by two. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. Back-to-back -back base hits. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you not too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base. And that's where no one could get to it. One out, runner at second. Now at the plate, Bradley Zimmer. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. 
Well, you've got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you've got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Here's the catcher, Brian Lavastida. Hit weakly on the ground. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Back at Citizens Bank Park, bottom of the second. D.D. Gregorius steps to the plate. And a pitch. And down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now it's the second baseman, Ronald Torres. And the next pitch is way outside. And now the lefty. Fastball gets the corner at the knees. Kicks and fires. And there's ball four. Now it's the shortstop, Nick Maton. The pitch, and there he goes, swinging a miss. The tag, and he's out at second. You know, when you've got cooler temperatures like this, sometimes it's a little harder to get some offense going because guys just don't want to feel the sting in their hands. They don't barrel it up. So being aggressive there, trying to get in the scoring position by stealing a bag, I get it. Sometimes you just have to try to manufacture some runs, especially in temperatures like this. And now the count is even. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Runner at first with two away. And here's the catcher, Austin wins. At the belt and fires. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Tying run at the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three, two on the way. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And the inning is over. Top half of the third inning. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Brian Rocchio. Here comes a pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now one away. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Yeah, Good two-strike pitch Double right seven. there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. So digging in, Will Brennan. One down, base is empty. Nope. And it's even up.
And the righty deals. Out to short. Whips it to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The first baseman, number 22, Josh Naylor. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Josh Naylor. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And it goes just foul. In the air, left field. Thierland makes his way towards it, brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is that. Back here in Philadelphia, Johan Camargo at the dish. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Now the left fielder, Matt Veerling. Lifted in the air, right center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. Now batting, right fielder, John Andreoli. Back to the top of the lineup, and now John Andreoli. Camargo leads off first with one away. Runner! Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Here's a tapper towards short. Toss to Naylor. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Adam Hazley gets a chance to hit. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses. And the count is two and two. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. a base hit right past his coach headed for the plate and they put the tag on him that's the third out inning over and welcome back now the third baseman David Fry next offering in the dirt and it's two and one Next one is off the plate, and the count is three and one. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. 
You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Now, here is George Valera. Right side, Andreoli settles underneath it. He's got it, and there's two away. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance okay. swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. At the play, Ernie Clement doubled his first time up, and a 1-1. One -one. And that's down it away. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Righty delivers. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. He made him pay for that one. His first homer of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's a speed threat. Bradley Zimmer. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Ground ball to Bohm. Boom, throws on to first, and that is that. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. It's now 3-0. Back here at the ballpark, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you, and leading off the bottom of the fourth, Alec Boehm. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Fouled off down the right side. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Hard ground ball base knock. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Didi Gregorius at the plate. Here's a 1-1. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Valera on the move to his right. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one away. Oh, the throw is wild. Now batting. The second baseman. Ronald. Torres. So up next, Ronald Torres. Next offering is down low. It's two and two. Boom. Stands at first with one out. The other way. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Now that is just a Nick Man at first. And the batter will be the shortstop, Nick Maton. And a pitch. And now two and one. The 
pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. pitch 3-2 Three, two. Three, two, two out runner on first a lot of movement in the infield hitters got to stay focused on the pitch and a 3-2 lined into left center base hit boom around third he will score. It's 3-1. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Man at second here with two away. Next to hit, Austin wins. And that one is lifted in the air. Zimmer makes the catch, and that'll do it. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the speedy catcher, Brian Lavastida. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pit. Tosses to first, one away here in the fifth. The battle, the shortstop, And now the shortstop, Ryan Rocchio. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Now that's smack to right center. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And it's second with one away. Here's the left fielder, Will Brennan. Rudder breaks for third. Pitch in for a strike to third. And got him. Next pitch in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Christopher Sanchez, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Emmanuel getting loose as well. The pitch. In the air to left center. That's a hit. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They've got to go a long way as well. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Josh Naylor. Fires across the diamond, and that's the third out. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Johan Camargo. And one and two. Next pitch misses. Two and two.
stays alive. Next pitch is downstairs. There's a swing and a drive. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. It bangs off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Nice and bad right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall. But still an excellent swing of the bat. Matt Veerling digs in now. Kicks and deals. Got one out to right. And makes the grab. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Now the right field. And no. stepping in is Andrioli. the speedy John Andrioli. Ball to strike. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Got him swinging. That's the second out. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Now batting, the center fielder, Adam Paisley. Now the number two hitter, Adam Hazley. Right side. Clement collects it. The throw to first. What a play to end the inning. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now it's Bobby Bradley. On the ground to third, boom, handles. Save! It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Zach Eflin departs, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Christopher Sanchez into the game, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Bradley aboard here at first with nobody out. Lined, and that's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now the center fielder, George Valera. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. They won't test it here. Bases loaded, no outs. That's three singles in a row. Nice line now drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just 30. stayed through it nice uh -huh. enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. So digging in, Ernie Clement. Yeah. 
Roll to short, could be two. Over to second for one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Here's Bradley Zimmer. The 1-1. Swings over the top of that one. Runner at third, two away. That misses, ball two. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here in Philadelphia. And now it's Alec Bohm. The wide to kick the pitch. That's out to center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays now in the zone the on plane hit. for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Here's Didi now. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Grounder might be two. Quick feed to second for one. How about that double play? The second baseman. So two down now, and here is Ronald Torres. One one now. That one misses. Two balls and a strike. Action in the pen down there. Brian Shaw preparing to come on if needed. Number 49, getting cranked up as well. The pitch. Torres checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Did not go. Two outs. And that's ball four. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Alex Young gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Daniel De Los Santos on the pitch out of the pen here. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and... He need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Nick Maton will hit next. Right-hander kicks deals. And now two balls and a strike. Torres off of first with two away. This to center field. Valera makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here in Philadelphia, here's the catcher, Brian Lavastida.
And here it comes. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Activity in the bullpen. Kyle Doey appears to be getting loose. Emmanuel warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. That one hit to right. Andrioli moving under this one. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting the shortstop. Brian Rocchio. So the batting order turns over. Brian Rocchio, the next to hit. The wind and the pitch. And another ball. Fouls one off. Two and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. On the ground to the left. Gets it to first. And two away to start the seven. The back. Number seven. Now the left fielder, Will Brennan. Here's a one to one. Out to short. On the run, He's sent out. it over to first. Ladies Third out. Back at Citizens Bank Park, set for the last half of the seventh, and now the catcher comes up to hit. Austin wins. The 1 1 is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty to the plate. Swing and a pop-up. Naylor on the move towards the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The first baseman, number seven, Johan Camargo. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Johan Camargo. To the right side, Clement handles the chance. On to first, two up, two down. The back, the left field. Veerling. Two outs, base is empty. Matt Veerling getting ready to hit. The 1-1. One -one. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Fly ball down the line. And that is foul. This one high in the air to left center. Pulls it in on the run. And that will end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, and now the first baseman, Josh Naylor. The punch out there, and one gone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Designated hitter, Bobby Bradley. And the batter now, Bobby Bradley. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. 
Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. The wind of the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count, one and two. Next offering is foul back. One, two now. Good eye right there. And that's downstairs and outside. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And he deals. And there's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. The 2 1. That one ripped left field. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting, the center fielder, George Valero. That's a really nice job right there. Great awareness making the catch up against the wall. You see the perfect technique, feeling for the wall with the bare hand while keeping his eyes on the baseball as it's coming down, his glove in a good position to make the catch. That's exactly how you do it. Man at first, here's the center fielder, George Valera. That one in for a strike, two and two. Two, two down. Just misses with that one. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. 3-2 now. Got him. And that'll do it. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot. Brian Shaw. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. And welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now, John Andrioli. The Iron Pigs in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Back to work. 3-2 now. Got him looking. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Now the number two hitter, Adam Hazley. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And a ball in two strikes. Stays alive. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Now batting, the third baseman, Allen. Boom. Here's the third baseman, Alec Boom. Hey. 
And he grounds one to the right side. Clement collects. Play made. That ends the inning. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Here's the second baseman, Ernie Clement. Here's a 1 1. And a good eye there. And a 2 2. Swing and a ball popped up. Hauls it in for the out. The right fielder, number four, Bradley Zimmer. Bradley Zimmer now at the plate. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that ball. Yeah. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Two outs, base is empty. Brian Lavastida will hit next. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's out number three. Here comes the closer here in the ninth, Ben Kraut. Number 41, Ben Kraut. Welcome back. So bottom of the ninth, and here is D.D. Gregorius. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. He stays alive. They all pitch. Slapped foul. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Left hand batter waits. And down on strikes. One out. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed, gets the out. In second baseman. Run on. So Now it's the second baseman, Ronald Torres. Out to center, Valera under this one. And there are two down. The batter, not shortstop, Nick. And now, Nick Maton. One one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. That's ripped. Base hit. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. And here's the catcher, Austin wins. The one, two. And that one missing low. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Down to their final strike. 
Good eye in that spot. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on-deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. And a foul ball. Next offering is foul back. Stays alive. Maton leads off first with two down to the inning. And a foul ball, he stays alive. On a line, base hit. Maton headed for the plate. The tag, and that's the ball game. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Clippers four runs on nine hits no errors they left five men on base for the Iron Pigs one run eight hits no errors they left six men on base time of the ball game two hours and 55 minutes thank you for joining us here tonight and we remind you to please Drive home safely.